The deal the House passed last night is a promising step toward fiscal sanity. Uh, but make no mistake, there's much more work to be done. The, right to, the fight to reel in wasteful spending is far from over. Our obligation to provide for the common defense is especially urgent. For years, Republicans have led significant investments in improving the readiness of our armed forces and modernizing their capabilities to face down emerging threats. But since President Biden took office, Republicans have had to fight year after year to ensure we meet the needs of our military. Fortunately, we've secured bipartisan recognition that President Biden's budget requests have underfunded our national defense. This was especially true last year when Republicans secured a substantial real dollar increase to defense funding and ended Democrats' artificial demands for parity with non-defense discretionary spending. This brought our military valuable time, but it was hardly a silver bullet. As I said yesterday, President Biden's refusal to let the defense portion of this agreement exceed his insufficient budget request is certainly disappointing.